when you when you see these citations talking about the walls of a container, they're generally talking in in, in common sense terms about a defined system that's going to obey the gas laws. And to do that, you have to have a a hard container, sealed container. If you want any of the gas laws to work, that volume is required. And in the other, I have a, a vacuum. And if I open the tap between these two, you will see spontaneously the bromine rush from one to the other. Now that is the simplest change we can have, perhaps, because all that happens is a change in entropy. In this case, the expansion into a vacuum, nothing else is involved. There's no energy change, there's no temperature change, there's no change except entropy. What's the container in this picture? Oh, there isn't one, there's just a vast amount of space for the gas to fill. It expands in all directions, all vectors. Not down, not go boom boom. Not like bouncy balls. Not like Thunderfoot says. He's supposed to be a PhD.